Next trick we're going to show you is Takashi Boin. It's based off Boiny Boin. Um, it involves popping the yo-yo out and back into the boiny boin that you're doing. Let me show you what this looks like real quick. When you're in the middle of a boiny boin and it's going, you pop the yo-yo out, and as you're doing so, you then pop it back into it, just like that. It's popping out of the boiny boin, back into it, and then you pop out the other way and back into it. Um, it's a really cool looking trick. Um, it's really nice to break up a boiny boin in the middle of it. Looks like so, one more time. Let me show you what it, how to do it. So from boiny boin, make sure you can do a good boiny boin already. This trick. What you want to do is, as it's coming over on this side, you let it out towards the left, and you just swing it over once. It goes right over your throw hand pointer, and you bring it right back into the boiny boin like so. So just try doing that at first. Let me show you from this side. It swings right out. It swings over your throw hand pointer. And it comes back in, and you start playing with it again. So practice that. That's the first step. Second step, once you've gotten that far, so practice that. Get that going good. You're actually popping it out the same way, and you're reversing the direction, except it's going to come in through the back. Let me see if you can see this from here. We're doing the first step. The second step, it comes out the back and lands on this string. It's a string more towards your right. It comes around and hooks in like that. And then you're right back in a boingy boing mount. So you can start bouncing it back again, like so. Let me show you from this side again. Comes out to the left once you've got it going. Comes out to the left and comes from the back. And then you can just finish up your boingy boing. This one has an extra little tangle here, so it's a really good to get out with a rip cord makes it look really smooth, really precise. One more time, Stakashi Boyne.